Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Irene. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. I have been reading some mind-blowing papers on single-cell RNA sequencing lately. Can you imagine what this application can do in the cellular characterization of tissues? Yes, the development of tissues is a complex process to study. The best characterized example we have is hematopoiesis, when bone marrow cells differentiate into our blood cells. The characterization of hematopoiesis took many years of studies, and today we have a good set of markers to identify blood cells. However, these methods rely on the a priori knowledge of certain cell morphology characteristics, which sometimes can be equivocal. You know, the ability to sequence the RNA of large numbers of single cells is really changing the game. Using this method to classify expression from splenic cells, Jadlin and co-workers obtained results that were remarkably comparable to those that would have been obtained by traditional marker-based cellular definitions. In another study, this approach was used to characterize lung cell differentiation during mouse embryogenesis. In mammals, epithelial cells in the alveoli are highly specialized for gas exchange. By using an unbiased, genome-wide approach, Triotlin et al. were able to classify cells from mouse epithelium. The results confirmed what was previously known about the epithelial cell diversity, but it also identified new cell markers that were able to discriminate between cell types. Single cell RNA sequencing was also used to classify neuronal types present in mouse dorsal root ganglion, responsible for perceiving sensations. Principal component analysis of 779 single cell RNA profiles led to the identification of 11 neuronal classes, validated through immunohistochemical staining. Their results suggest that sensations can be activated in different ways. Itching, for example, is regulated by at least three pathways. One of these involves the same mediators of inflammation that in atopic dermatitis. <laughs> That's enough to make my neurons hurt. Okay, that's all for today then. If you are itching to hear more, let us know. We would love to hear your thoughts about the show and topics you would like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on social media, hashtag Simon. Until next time, bye. Bye.